everyone, welcome back to Gene Calderon Apologetics Ministries and today is Wednesday and being Wednesday we are moving ahead with our theme days that we are doing this week called Worship Wednesday and for that we're going to really focus on what worship is, how should it be expressed, I mean there's many different forms and how is it when we fall away from the correct way of actually living a life of worship. Worship I would hope we know already is beyond music, beyond styles, beyond dancing and it, it really is is a lifestyle and it's not something we just do on Sunday mornings before the actual message is presented. It's not something that we do after the message. It's not something we go to as a concert, but what really is worship? Now, I'm not denying that. That's all part of worship, and it can be expressed musically in that way, but seriously, what is worship? And I'm hoping to complement that with the music when we're talking about a lifestyle of worship. And the first thing is, is worship really necessary? Is worship really normal in the Christian life? And by that, I mean the way that we express it. Um, some people claim that to be normal Christians or to actually be Christians in name only, they will struggle with the idea of worship. And honestly, when we first become uh, Christians, some people have a problem with worship itself. I mean, we show up to church late. Why? Because we want to come in after all that jumping and dancing around and music and stuff and is over. We just want to hear the message, right? I was in that camp. I didn't want to show up to church early. I would come in a little bit late because I didn't want to hear and see all that craziness that was going on. At least that's how I thought. I didn't know how to worship. I didn't know what worship was really about. But what is really worship? I mean, is it normal to want to worship as a Christian? Well, the question we have to ask ourselves then, is the Lord Jesus our most precious treasure in this world? Or in other words, is the moral beauty that's found only in Jesus Christ constantly drawing us to praise and worship him? Is he having such an effect in our lives that we can't do anything but speak well of him to the point where we actually find ourselves praising him and lifting his name? Because if so, we are among those who God's word actually identifies as being normal, as being believers, and actually being those who practice Christianity. And we may all be at different levels with that. Again, if you're new, this might be weird and we may not understand why we do it, how it's done, but it's just like anything else. When you fall in love with someone, you can't help but just speak good things about that person or want to praise that person and the things that they do for you or for others or just in life in general. But when we think about the amazing thing that Jesus has done for us, how can we not help but worship him? And to not realize who God is, how can we not help but worship him but still we still hear some people who will object to some of these ideas and say that someone who is that delighted I mean, oh my goodness, you are going crazy over this. And and yeah, I, I know what you mean. <laughs> Some people do get are a little bit more hyper emotional and that's okay as long as it's within a certain context. Or there's some people who may go a little bit overboard in their expression. Everybody's different, but we can't judge their uh, maturity level based on their style of worship. But all that being said, some people would say, look, even if you enjoy worship on the simplest level, it is just a little bit of overkill that to be that delighted and occupied with the person of Jesus Christ, they would say something like we are extremists and not really a normal Christian. But wait, really? If you're from the church and you understand Christianity and you think that wanting to worship Jesus or God in this way, uh, whatever level that may be, or just have the passion, and you think that that is being an extremist, I would question, what are we reading? <laughs> um, because I have people who are calling themselves Christians really come to the point of what I would call maybe a humanistic or a secular teaching to believe that loving Jesus with all of our hearts, our soul, our strength, and our mind, and to say that that's not normal, then I would ask, are we studying the same Bible? Because multiple times when we read in the scriptures, I mean, it starts off in the book of Deuteronomy, where we read about loving the Lord your God with all of your heart, soul, strength, and your mind. And then Jesus is quoted for that same verse when he is asking, which is the greatest of all the commandments? And if loving God with all of our heart, soul, strength, and our mind, or some translations might say even our understanding, if that doesn't somehow translate or come out in a form of what we would call worship, then I would question, do we really understand what the Bible is trying to say? Because it's, I don't think it's really that hard to look at this and say, what does it mean on my heart, soul, strength, and mind? That pretty much means, man, that consumes my entire life. 
And so we have to really take a look at this and say, what does it mean to be a normal Christian, someone who is growing in the faith and even growing in our worship? Uh, it's a step-by-step -step process. If you're not there jumping up and down with your hands in the air and things like that, that's okay. If you're more uh, reverenced in your worship and you just like a, be, uh, to be quiet and, 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 and somber in your worship, that's okay. And in fact, it's not always about music. It's about living the life that Christ has, has died for us for. And so that is a life of worship. And we're going to get more into different styles, different expressions, but mostly about what is true worship. And honestly, some of the makes, mistakes we make when it comes to this is worship, that is not. This is the way we do it, and you should do it the same. Or just all these different ideas. And even, is it all music? Um, or is it more and beyond? And that's what we're going to get into. So I hope you enjoy this. This is Worship Wednesday. This is uh, what we'll be doing every couple of Wednesdays to be able to share about worship. And if you enjoy this, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Gene Calderon with Gene Calderon Apologetics Ministries. Uh, if you'd like to donate to support me as a local miss missionary here in Northwest Indiana, you can do that in the links below. If you have questions or comments, what do you think about worship? Is it normal? Is it something that we should express flamboyantly or is it something that's more reverenced? How do you do it and what do you feel is the best way for you to be able to express that? Everyone's different. Everyone's going to have different ways of uh, sharing that. But I'd like to hear from you. What do you think about worship? Is it normal? How was it when you first started? Did you struggle with it? I think sharing that would really help others to be able to see, yeah, we're on the right track of worship. Or maybe help those who aren't so crazy about worship realizing, you know what? Maybe I should give it a chance. Uh, I just didn't like the way everybody else was doing it, but maybe there's a way I can do it that is true to the scriptures and is true to the spirit and truth of worship. Thanks for watching. God bless you and hope to see you soon. Take care.